Hey guys, it's Raining Blood back with another video here to give you my thoughts video on Black Freaking Panther. Now, this is my first thoughts video of 2018. Last thoughts video I did was on Star Wars The Last Jedi, which I did two months ago, of course. And you know, I, I kind of missed going to the movies already since then. And the, I missed seeing superhero movies as well, and you know, Black Panther came out today in New Zealand and last superhero movie I saw was Justice League and that was a huge disappointment and honestly I've, I've lost faith in the DCU okay there's literally no reason to keep faith in them after that but the MCU man you can just you can always have faith in them Black Panther another absolutely awesome movie for the MCU guys absolutely loved it and I'll get into that first I'll tell you what Black Panther is about so it takes place um, after Captain America Civil War where uh, Black Panther was first introduced you know and spoiler alert for Civil War um, his father dies in Captain America Civil War and um, he's still reeling from it you know you know, and because of his father's death, you know, he is named the next uh, king of Wakanda. Because he was prince before, of course. But um, first he has to go through a challenge, you know. And I think, like, each of the tribes have to challenge him, you know, for the throne. You know. And one of them um, accepts the challenge for him and loses. So he becomes king of Wakanda and he officially becomes the Black Panther you know, who, it was a tradition for generations in that, uh, in the Marvel, Marvel Universe, you know, of course, but there is, there are some secrets that Black Panther finds out about, that T'Challa finds out about, and, um, they go back about 25, 26 years previously to when this movie set, and, um, and uh, it all comes into fruition today, in the present day. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, of course. You know, but... And then... Um, Killmonger, Eric Killmonger, comes in. And um, wants to challenge for the throne. You know, for Black Panther's throne. And, you know, it's about him, like, trying to take over Wakanda. And now Black Panther has to stop him. Like, that's... The main thing so black panther guys like i said awesome movie another awesome mcu movie um the soundtrack man the, the music the score was absolutely beautiful it was excellent action scenes excellent as expected characters there was actually a lot of character development in this uh, which was absolutely amazing both in credit scenes were um you know were definitely needed for this Especially with the next MCU film being Avengers Infinity War. I can't believe that's the next one. It's the big one, the main event, you know. The WrestleMania of um, MCU films is Avengers films, you know. That's the next one. I can't believe it. One of them, one of the incredible scenes, of course, sets that up a little bit. Um, but Black Panther Man, uh, it was absolutely awesome. A uh, bit slow in the beginning, I'll say that. But once you understand everything, you know, it becomes all good, you know. And uh, I love all the characters. The villain, Eric Killmonger, one of the best MCU villains to date. He is just awesome. Probably could have been in it a bit more, but I still freaking loved him, you know. And, um, you know, uh, T'Challa, Black Panther, absolutely awesome as always. I uh, find it kind of strange that he didn't speak much in the trailers, but uh, of course he's the main character, of course, and Ulysses Claw, played by Andy Serkis, was absolutely awesome, um, you know, for what he got. You know, he was in Avengers Age of Ultron, now he's here in Black Panther, and he is awesome, you know. And uh, Killmonger was awesome. Even the characters that you think uh, you wouldn't end up caring about are actually awesome, you know, 
awesome characters, awesome music, you know, I just don't want to spoil this film at all, you know, awesome action sequences, storyline was on point, and with the villain, Eric Killmonger, like I said, one of the best MCU villains to date, he, um, you know, he's definitely a bad guy, like the Joker, you know, of course, from Batman, but, um, you know, even though he's the bad guy, you actually understand him, and you understand where he's coming from, you know, once, uh, things come, in, come to fruition, you know, and, uh, those villains I really love, you know, um, and they definitely work for this type of movie, you know, and, um, um, and, uh, like I said, great action sequences, um, and it definitely feels standalone, you know, like, it doesn't, like, constantly remind you that it's in a cinematic universe, you know, like how they, like how they, like, they wouldn't, like, acknowledge Iron Man and Captain America's existence, you know, every five minutes, you know, not that I mind that at all, I, I do love it when they do that, but with this, you know, they didn't do that, and that was cool, because, you know, you can definitely focus on the characters and stuff. Black Panther guys, uh, I really don't want to say anymore because I don't want to spoil it. Um, music was awesome, um, characters were awesome, even the villains. Yes, um, and uh, gets you excited for Avengers: Infinity War definitely. And um, yeah, that's about it. You know, I don't, I don't really have anything more to say about it. Um, Definitely see this movie when it comes out for you guys. Um, as for what I'd rate this film, I don't know what I'd rate it yet, um, but somewhere between an 8 and a 10. Um, somewhere from 8 to 10. Definitely loved it. I definitely want to collect it on Blu ray when it comes out, and definitely can't wait to see more of these characters in future MCU films. And I really look forward to, you know, just. The rest of these characters and the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know. So that's my thoughts video on Black Panther, the movie. You guys, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.